In the previous video, we have discussed the pathophysiology of peptic ulcers and gastritis and have also discussed the surgical and medication interventions. In this video, we will be discussing about the therapeutic nutritional aspect and the diet aspect of a gastritis or a peptic ulcer patient. Do not forget to view this video till end. Watch the whole video. You're going to get a ton of information, a loads of information. And in the end of the video, you are also going to get a diet plan for this problem. But you are not going to understand the diet plan if you're going to skip the video. Don't skip the video. Just watch the video till whole and stay tuned. everybody this is your nutritionist on the go Kamal Deep Singh Ojla from Eru Diet Nutrition and now let's start with the topic of dietary management of peptic ulcers and gastritis if you have not watched the pathophysiology of this disease go to my channel and check the previous video so that you have the whole topic in your hand all right guys so I'm going to switch you now to the presentation screen and let's get started so treatment with dietary management which is the most important part let's quickly see the types of things that we don't have to eat whatsoever we have to totally avoid if we have a gastric ulcer or we have gastritis so the number one most obvious is coffee tea and milk tea chai we have to avoid these three foods because they trigger a hyper acidic in a response in your stomach so they are going to secrete a lot of acid which is going to further irritate your gastritis your gut mucosa and if there is an ulcer it is going to irritate and it will be very painful when you drink this so avoid also we are going to avoid any chocolates so this is very unfortunate but yes we have to avoid all the chocolates so because they also secrete a lot of acid so we are going to avoid all types of spicy foods okay these all are a no-go because if we eat spicy food it's going to irritate our ulcers we are also going to avoid citrus fruits because sometimes not for everybody for most of the people citric fruits and fruit juices can also cause hyper acidity so we are going to stop that also any sorts of deep fried oily fatty food a higher fat content food or a deep fried food will also worsen your symptoms it's not good for you because a lot of oil in the diet is going to slow your digestion will require more amount of acid and we already know that due to gastritis or ulcer our stomach acid is already weak and if we are taking medications we are taking proton pump in, uh, proton pump inhibitors which have also decreased the amount of acid uh, acid production in our body so the acid is very low in quantity and very poor in the quality as well so high fat foods won't be digestible and you are going to worsen your symptoms avoid at all costs is alcohol and tobacco okay so this goes without saying these are the things which have which could be a potential reason that why you are suffering from gastritis or ulcer in the first place they are they can be a major uh, cause for that so we are going to avoid this to you know uh, so that our symptoms don't get worse and we are going to avoid large meals or large portions so do you have you see this plate this plate is full of food this much amount of food will not be tolerated by our body so we will start with this and if we are comfortable we might move towards this don't just go towards these french fries and whatever fried chicken or fish this is this is just to explain the portion size of your meal so start eating with a small quantity have a small meal for six to seven times in a day if you are having symptoms of gastric ulcer so now coming on to the foods that are actually going to help gastroprotective activity of flavonoids flavonoids are compounds which have anti-inflammatory properties they are also antimicrobial so they will also serve as a natural antibiotic for your stomach so if your stomach acid is weak we can see abundance of H. pylori bacteria in your stomach. We know that because we have seen the previous video. If you haven't seen the previous video, go back there and watch the previous video so you understand the topic. Stomach acid is weak, abundance of H. pylori bacteria. So these flavonoids are also going to act as natural antibiotics for our system. So good high flavonoid content foods such as legumes, okay, uh, pulses and lentils, grapes, kale, Okay, we don't have kale over here, so we can switch for spinach. Sometimes spinach can cause hyperacidity, so we have to be careful about it. 
bell peppers make sure these are not spicy at all usually bell peppers are not apples berries and even though we have restricted teas in the previous slide but a cold green tea if tolerable has high amounts of uh, flavonoids so how do you prepare a cold tea uh, cold green tea you can you know dip your tea bag in a cup or in a bottle of water and keep it overnight in the fridge that will be your cold green tea so or you can prepare some green tea let it cool to the room temperature then further you can add some ice into it so it will be a cold green tea which will not worsen your symptoms and it will help in gastroprotective activity of your foods so coming up next is probiotics we know that probiotics are actually live bacteria that is living in our stomach and our intestines our live bacterial culture if established properly in your gut can help fight the h pylori and can contain the overgrowth of h pylori so that is also an added advantage so you can have some probiotic yogurt or kefir or buttermilk sauerkraut some probiotic foods that are also going to have uh, the antimicrobial properties they are going to fight with this h pylori overgrowth and can help your stomach you can also have a probiotic in form of supplement also uh, the next thing that we can have is honey honey has polyphenols and antioxidants which are also good if you are suffering from gastritis okay then it's garlic when consuming garlic you have to be sure to consume garlic in very small amounts even though it has very high antioxidative and antibacterial properties it is a very good inhibitor of h pylori but you have to start from a very small dose and if the dose is tolerable you can keep on increasing it till you comfortably uh, eat garlic i don't want you to eating too much garlic and worsening your symptoms the next is sulforaphane so this compound sulforaphane here is actually found, uh, found in cruciferous group of vegetables uh, vegetables like uh, cauliflower and uh, brussels sprouts and uh, kale spinach or uh, in in broccoli okay so these cruciferous vegetables have high amounts of sulforaphane i usually suggest people with gastritis or gastric ulcers to consume broccoli cauliflower and cabbage on regular basis you can drink the juice of these vegetables you can drink the soup of these vegetables you can boil and cook these vegetables and add some other vegetables also along with it but do consume cruciferous vegetables especially cabbage cauliflower and broccoli if you have gastritis or gastric ulcers so these are very good for you the next thing that we can add in our diet is flaxseed oil or mucilage mucilage is the flaxseed gel you can boil some amount of flax and then you can collect its gel and then you can consume one or two tablespoons of uh, flaxseed gel or flaxseed oil these are also going to have a very positive effect on your gastric ulcer or your gastritis problem so let's make a quick quick rewind that what we are going to have to do to recover from the gastric ulcers we will keep our portions small we'll eat smaller meals multiple time in a day if our body is not tolerating uh, normal food or hard diet then we will switch to semi solid or soft diet if our body is not tolerating soft diet then we will further bring down our intake to liquid form of diet as soon as we start tolerating it we will go back to soft diet or semi solid consistency of food and later we can jump back to normal consistency of food but keep the portions of your diet very small foods that help have those have higher flavonoid contents okay so these are the foods so apples berries and legumes bell peppers these are the foods that are good for you potato uh, does not have much flavonoids but it is also very easy on your stomach so do add boiled potato in your diet probiotics are very good uh, in fighting with the overgrowth of h pylori okay so it is also going to help you it is also going to improve uh, the acid of your stomach in many ways and uh, consume consuming yogurt buttermilk uh, are also going to give you very easy digestible proteins in your diet so that protein is also very essential for your recovery from ulcer uh, honey and polyphenols present in honey are also helpful garlic is a very powerful helicobacter pylori inhibitor whole group of cruciferous vegetables is great is great do consume cruciferous vegetables on regular basis some flaxseed flaxseed oil or flaxseed mucilage is also going to help you a lot coming to the last slide where 
we have a diet plan for you guys yes we are giving you a diet plan for better recovery so you can try these foods in the early morning you can so first of all before i mark anything on the slide you can pause the video and you can have a screenshot for that okay so that will be easier for you to further get into reference so in the early morning you can have some green vegetable soup you can add some fruits into it all of these uh, ingredients that are listed have antibacterial antioxidative and anti-inflammatory properties which are going to recover help you recover faster in the breakfast we can have mashed potatoes with some coleslaw you know coleslaw is made from cabbage that is good for you you can also have some steamed chicken chest but very small portion see protein is very important for you protein will help you recover from your ulcer and also if there is a hole in your stomach the ulcer is turned into a hole it will also help the body to recover to you know grow those cells back uh, with the help of a protein rich diet and since you might be having gastritis or stomach ulcer from quite a while uh, you are not having enough food you are malnourished you are weak uh, so protein intake in this situation is very important for you so in the mid morning you can have some cranberry or yogurt smoothie or you can have yogurt instead also or you can have a smoothie also in the lunch you can have some khichdi with vegetables with rice porridge you can uh, add some curd or buttermilk along with it in the evening you can have smaller portions remember smaller portions so one slice of bread and just a little bit of almond or cashew butter uh, these nut butters are also good for your health and uh, they provide good amount of calories a lot of nutrition a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals some good amount of fiber too so in the pre dinner you can have some green salad with sauerkraut or grilled fish or you can even have broccoli cabbage soup okay and in the dinner you can have uh, some boiled egg whites again protein is very important for you some plain boiled rice with dal and in the post dinner you can have some green tea or cold milk if you want to well if you like these suggestions that i further added you can screenshot the diet plan right now if you so guys this was uh, my attempt to help you guys better understand the pathophysiology of your disease of gastritis of peptic ulcers the dietary treatment i hope you guys are pretty satisfied with the explanation and with the diet suggestions still if you do have any doubts you can post it in the comment section or you can dm me if you do feel that you need a personalized diet plan for yourself or anybody who who you know who has this uh, gastric ulcer problem you can dm me you can contact me on facebook on instagram for future videos in this playlist related with gerd related with esophageal ulcer rectal ulcers ibs ulcerative colitis do stick to the channel follow me on facebook follow me on instagram subscribe my channel on youtube and don't forget the notification bell icon so guys i hope you like the video don't forget to leave the comment on the new presentation format that we are using on this channel so i'll see you guys next time until then you guys take care